Hello and welcome to another cooking show with the Tater Cowgirl Senior, Eddie and uh, three, two of her friends and Clay. They all got dressed up and go to the Renaissance Fair in Casa de Fruta. And that gives me some peace and quiet time at home because they're all, all weekend here to do my cooking show. Um, we, uh, we are the in spot at those, for those high schoolers to spend the weekend and have fun. Hey, me, huh? Um, so they all usually stay with Eddie here. And um, I want her to have that as long as we can, because you know I live in California and with our governor just blasting out mandates after mandate, um, she might not be able to go to high school anymore as, as soon as January or July. So we have a plan B, we are not vaccinated, we have a religious exemption on we will file it for her too and we will put her in online school if necessary or move out of the state if it's really getting worse and uh, you know that's just what we have to do uh, it seems that nobody has a problem with these Gestapo mandates and uh, it just reminds me what happened in Germany and what my grandmother told me and what happened in Eastern Germany which I witnessed and um, it's just very sad that not many people are standing up for that. Um, anyway, um, we will have to live with it. Uh, my health is deteriorating because of it. I just wanted to let you know it's not COVID that's uh, affecting my health. It is the stress, the constant bullying and the harassment because I'm not vaccinated. Um, I have to, I'm in a Daniel fast right now to remove myself from this stress to make myself um, feel calmer and focus on real stuff reading the bible um, meditating really really try to to get more peace and um, today i'm showing you a really easy re recipe for the daniel fast i know you, you can do the daniel fast if you're not christian you know um, but uh, I am Christian, I am uh, believe in Jesus Christ and I trust in him and this Daniel fast put I mean five days in it now it, I feel that I have a closer relationship to God and um, reading the Bible is very good for me it's very uh, difficult for me because my, my native language is not English so uh, it takes me a long time to just read one chapter, but uh, I, I feel better doing it. And I find that my inner peace is coming back and my strength and I will get over this. We, uh, we as a family will face this and uh, make sure we are okay. And now I'm gonna cook for you. Uh, what we have today is a really easy to make breakfast bar. Uh, it's Daniel Fast approved only a few ingredients and you will see when I start cooking and it's really easy. I love it. Uh, I, ha I made it twice already. Um, you can grab it in the morning and just eat it, you know, if you don't have time to have uh, breakfast. And uh, I will take some to um, Bodega Bay where Clay and I will have our wedding anniversary and my Christmas and the first time we will have actually uh, a camping trip just our just ourselves no grandkids no kids no dogs no nothing just ourselves and I think that will help me to to find more peace and uh, a, a good recommendation for all of you you know I, ca I can't just turn off the fear I'm afraid of COVID I'm afraid of the vaccinations I don't want vaccinations based on my religious beliefs but that doesn't mean I'm not afraid of COVID. So you gotta, you gotta remove yourself, do your best what you can and remove yourself from this worries and this stress and this, uh, cause it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you at all. You know, you have to deal with what comes up at the moment and then go from there. Every day has to be lived. Okay. And um, we will see where it goes. Okay. 
And now, no, no more preaching. <laughs> I will cook. I put you down to let you look. These are the, the bars, how they look like when they are done. Solid little breakfast bars. I put them on the side. Uh, first, what you do is you, you heat your oven to 350F Fahrenheit. And now uh, we get started with the ingredients. Look, they look really nice here, all lined up here. It's just mother nature looks, you know, it's what I really enjoy here is really eating the food like it is and not just ripping off some packet and microwave it. Okay, first things first, we have, we need to have two large bananas. I have three because I, I have smaller ones and they need to go, they are, um pretty soft so they need to go i need to use those so i need I, I take three smaller ones but if you have two large that's enough too and i usually do it with my hands but you can uh, do it with a potato masher, you know, mash the bananas good together. You don't want to have green bananas for those. They should be really ripe, then they're easier to mash. See that? So we got those. The next thing is two cups of um, um, oats. Not the not the the fast ones. Uh, I have the tri or the traditional original oats. And I put those in. Then we need a quarter cup walnuts and I have to cut them. I just want to show you the amount. So let's get a, a knife, cut them. Because you want to have walnuts in every bite. This is why I cut them, otherwise they are too far spread out. The, the main, I noticed the main difference between um, whole plant based and, and after Dr. McDougall and the Daniel fast is you can eat, you can add walnuts like they have fat in it, you know, if you follow Dr. McDougall, you should not do that in order to lose weight. My main priority right now is not to lose weight, it's getting my, my glucose down and my stress level down okay so we got that so we enter that okay and then we have a half a cup of dates pitted so I also cut them to have little date bites in every Thing. Yeah, they're all at the Renaissance Fair today, Casa de Fruta. Oh, it's nice to be alone. I, I don't mind to be, be alone. I, I've been there in the Renaissance Fair. I don't need to go, but the, the girls are really excited. They're all dressed up. I put a, a photo in, in this video that you see them. <laughs> I, I want them to have fun. Because they are, uh, they are frightened by everything what's going on in California too, you know. They, they're afraid and they all love to go to high school and it's just not fair what they do to these kids these days. It's just not fair. Okay, so we have the dates then. then we take about a 
I would say a teaspoon vanilla. Put that in. And then I always use two pinches of sea salt. And then we, um, I use my fingers, you can use the measure, but I think with the fingers it's just better. And I mix it all together. I have my fingers washed, so no worries. And mix it really good. They need to be, uh, it all needs to be um, mixed well together. Otherwise you won't have good bars, you know. You have to have this banana, banana stuff on everything. Everything has to be coated with the banana. Okay. When I'm done that, I have a silicon baking form. And if you don't have that, let's see if I see the size on it. There's the size on it. No, it doesn't really say. It's a square bacon form that fits exactly the amount I'm making. If you don't have that, you can use a normal bacon form. Maybe put some parchment paper on it or, or uh, grease it if it, you don't mind. I, I avoid grease, you know, I don't eat oils. So I'm happy I have my silicon form. It's perfect. And that's what I'm doing now. I take the form and pour everything out there. And press it firmly in the form. So you, you really have to press it in so that you get nice bars afterwards. Looks good to me. And now we put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. You see me going there. Yeah. them in for 30 minutes. This is up to your um, oven. In my case 30 minutes usually is enough to make it look crunchy and brown. You want to have it crunchy and brown. You, you don't want to have take it out when it's still doughy. Okay. So I'll see you once it's done. See you later. And we're back. So I left it in 30 minutes. Here it is, I just took it out. And you see it's a little brown on the edges here. You don't take it out when it's too chewy still. You want to have it a little browned out here, okay? So rather leave it in five minutes longer. Every oven is a little bit different. My one is really great, my Samsung. <laughs> and um, now we let it, because I have it in those, uh, in that silicon form. And these are getting hot, so be careful when you use it the first time. These are hot when you take it out of the oven. So I always have it on a cookie sheet. Then I put it on the tray here. And uh, we let it cool out for a few minutes. And then I can uh, show you. I take it off and then I cut it in pieces. Uh, I already had uh, one from yesterday, a little piece for breakfast. And I have, I drink it with a cup of that Perro. That's the, the one thing at the Daniel fast you can eat, uh, can't drink coffee. That was really hard for me because <laughs> I like my cup of coffee in the morning. So I had actually two days I had a headache because of um, I didn't drink coffee. But I really like that uh, Harrow stuff that uh, post them, how they call it, barley, malted barley, chicory, rye and nothing else. I really like it. I got to like it. And um, 
it became a good substitute for me for a cup of not coffee <laughs> and um let's just get, take it down here yeah one more thing people's question because i'm a diabetic why are you eating starch based diet you shouldn't you eat keto or you know no carbs or whatever i lost 118 pounds with the dr mcdougall starch based whole plant based diet 2017 i started in 2019 i had lost 118 pounds and i was off for one year of insulin completely the problem was i got diagnosed with lada which means i need to use a little bit of long lasting insulin just a little bit not much and um because my body doesn't make enough it makes enough to stay out of the hospital but it doesn't make enough to avoid all the side effects the horrible side effects of diabetes so it's called diabetes 1.5 but i'm okay with it uh, you know i'm 62 this year and uh, i had a good life and um, i will try to eat healthy and uh, make it as good as possible you have to have humor if you're old otherwise you can't take it i'm telling you you have to take it everything a little bit with humor and uh, listen to your body what your needs are right now my needs are i need to get down from my stress level not so much losing weight so i need to get down from my stress level i allow myself eating walnuts but i'm not eating uh, refined oils so that's where i'm at but i do the daniel fast i got off the coffee yes i did that's my presidential cup have you ever seen that there are all the presidents there except of the last one which i don't need on my cup and everybody else is welcome on my cup and now we are dumping hold on i put you down to let you look so this is the the stuff or do i, I turn it down it dumps by itself it, you don't have you don't have to do much might have been a little bit hot still but what I, you, you can do what i do go with the knife a little bit underneath you see it dumped by itself i barely did anything so now i take the knife you see how crunchy they are ah oh. and it smells here i'm telling you and everybody likes those my, my husband is a carnivore my my granddaughter likes sweets and uh, all of them like these bars my granddaughter said she can eat it with braces because they are not stuck in her teeth that much my husband likes it because uh it tastes good he likes nuts and crunchy stuff so so what i do is um i take them on camping trips i it's a it's an easy you know snack in between when you can't cook when you sit in the car in the rv you can have your little snack in the motorhome. It's also an, a, a substitute for breakfast. When I don't get to make my oatmeal breakfast, what I usually do is fruits and um, oatmeal and uh, almond yogurt. Okay. So we have, I make them a little smaller than I did those. And hopefully they last long because everybody eats them. And then uh, I let them cool out on the tray here before I put it in my glass here. And I uh, have another one with a cup of coffee. Why not? I wish you all a wonderful Sunday. Stay calm. Don't get into these hate hateful discussions we are all one people on this earth and whether you're vaccinated or not you try to do the best for your family what do you think is best i think it's best not to get vaccinated it's my inner belief and um that's how i have to go from here and i'm not gonna be angry about anybody who is vaccinated or has a different point of view that's just my beliefs and i can't go over my conscience i can't i can't do it and um hopefully people understand that also the starch um 
The German word, uh, I wanted to say to the people who say, oh, why are you using starch? I lost my tra train, speech train before. Uh, starch um, in, in German means Stärke, strength. If you, if you translate the, the name, the German name Stärke, which means starch, it means strength. And, and all the gladiators, Daniel, everybody, they, they ate barley and, and pulp, vegetable pulp. And they were all stronger than those who eat the, the meat. And if you know Pastor Kneip in Germany, in my hometown area, he treated um, rich people who, who suffer from gout and diabetes and all that stuff with uh, cold water and uh, a really strict, really, really poor diet, I mean, a really strict um, diet. And it usually was the rich people who, who suffered from all that stuff because they ate all the fat and the meat and the stuff. So why? It makes completely sense to me what Dr. McDougall says and I'm sticking to my starch whole plant-based diet and I see that it is good for my body. Anyway, have a good Sunday, whatever you do. Stay calm. Don't let yourself stress out and come back to another cooking rodeo with the tail cowgirls, as I say in California. Peace out. Bow.